comedy. But the, so the bottom line is that, but here's what's interesting. Democracy spread slowly, but guess what? 2003, how many people had a cell phone in, in Iraq? Zero. Zero. Today? 80%. 80%, that's amazing. So, and, and we kept hearing over and over, like, hey, you guys gotta be patient. Democracy comes slowly. Democracy is slow, democracy is slow. But imagine that, zero to 80% cell phones. Why? Because people wanna know how their sister's doing. They wanna know, they wanna know people are safe. They'll prefer, you know, more food than, than uh, they'll prefer their mobile over having, uh, over giving up, and they'll give up some meals for it. Um, what was fascinating was that, but, but the mobile service sucked, it was crappy, it was gave out, the SMSs didn't go through, but yet they did have this, this they had, and they didn't forget about 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G, nor did they have any infrastructure in the ground that might support, you know, the, the uh, broadband on mobile down the line. By the way, less than 5% of homes have internet access. But they did have this basic lightweight SMS, and you know, it, and it really, this light bulb went off, you have to sort of see it to, 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 to realize the power of, you know, Twitter was a, was an SMS service before it was the web. It failed, but you know, but it worked. But it can work. And so, what can you build? I really throw out to you guys like the, the possibility of building things lightweight, lightweight, lightweight that these that these that these crappy old Nokia phones could could could, uh, could take advantage of. The irony, uh, I mean, one irony of 2009, where you know the, the year we know the market is is you know doesn't work, was that the mobile phone market. Now, even though it was the big mobile phone carrier is owned by the wife of the president. Um, that, despite all that, in some sense, the market uh, was working in that the uh, in that the mobile the mobile devices were providing connectivity, and it's and this was like a an example of like the only private sector of, of note in the whole country. Now I'll wrap up in a minute. The um, uh, a real bright spot, I don't mean for this to be a cliche, but it was true, a real bright spot was when we you know, got away from all go you know, government official after government official and met with uh, students. Um, the students were, were fascinating. They were, uh, they, they were, they, they, I'd love to say that they had an incredible like sort of social entrepreneurial zest to them. They did not, and that's because when you, again, like democracy going slowly, this country was like locked in Saddam um, Saddamville for long, so long that they, they don't even have like a cultural sense of their own agency and their own effect, e efficacy and their own ability to be a, a you know a, a business entrepreneur, let alone a social entrepreneur, a community entrepreneur. But they really, but they had, they did have that that spark. And can you see there? You know they. They didn't know, you know, they didn't know much internet. There was a bit of Facebook usage. They, 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 but they smile. But, 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 the, but these are the elite students, and the elite students, you know, they, they know YouTube, and YouTube makes them smile. Um, and, and that was, and that, and that, you know, think of the, the like what they're, what they're seeing that, that no one saw before. But thanks to uh, this internet. Now they all say it takes them half hour to load uh, a video on YouTube, but, um, but it's there and. Uh, what was, but you say to them, like, what do you want? What do you want to do? They all dream of a government job, because that's all there is, a government job, a government petroleum job. And when you, that's not, and now, but I, you would try to, like, instill in them, you would say, hey, who created YouTube? Who created Google? You tell them a student created Google, and they, they kind of have this, like, vague notion of that, but they don't, they don't really get it. And so I had to, you know, really be aggressive like this. Maybe, no, 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 maybe, 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 Again, the point there was that it wasn't like they weren't even saying I want to work at Google. You know, they were saying I want to work for the state. They don't. Under, they don't just have a concept of private sector. Um, lastly, you know, someone on my team at Meetup they said, oh, you know, why? You know, you, you go there and you're some sort of cultural imperialist, imperialist bringing your YouTube stickers and your and your Meetup <laughs> stickers and your and you're sort of like, you know, bringing America into this uh, into this culture. And you know, but. And I hope this is inspiring for the, you know, the work that you're doing, is that it's not, um, uh, if you do it right, you're just building, you're building platforms that, that people layer themselves on top of. 
that they that it, that it, it brings them it brings them forward. It it, it it is that vital plumbing for democracy. You know, even, uh, Iraq, 300 years ago, pioneered postal before uh, before Benjamin Franklin. In the 20s, they pioneered phone systems. Um, all their their doctors sort of all fled, and like our, our you know the, the the UK health system is is. Um, you know, it would be nothing without you know Iraqi expats, but you know there's 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 brains there, and um, and they need that infrastructure. And the biggest uh, most important thing out of this was that was that how do they how do they uh, you know not just have government to people or people to government, but but enable the people to talk to each other, enable them to support each other, enable them to uh, uh, develop an economy and develop community. And uh, and that's and that is an insurance policy against another dictator. It's an insurance policy against corruption, and that's the that's the heart of what this what this this internet stuff is. It's connecting people and tap and serving those basic human needs. Uh, and you need to be have these exemplar ideas of the of the application layer so that the foundation and infrastructure layer gets built up. Thanks. questions and then we'll all break. No, Anything? No What's that? No, no yeah, that's not good. That was not good. <laughs> that was, uh, two, uh, two were invited, two were on board that canceled at the last minute on the trip. Yep. Um, I'm not planning on going back. <laughs> but, uh, No, there, there, there's actually there's a real commitment. I was on a conference call today uh, with 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 the, the delegation. We we're we're we're, we're uh, entrepreneurial folks who are serious about making sure that we're following up on things. Oh wait, actually that's that's a good point. I forgot to I forgot this last slide. Um, we got the deputy prime minister to start tweeting. <laughs> and this was him yesterday. And my question is, is that you know. If this guy gets, and this guy was awesome about it, he's going to be the next prime minister. Uh, everyone thinks so, and I believe so. Um, he was the only guy in the entire country with an iPhone. <laughs> it's true. And uh, and uh, but my question is, when this guy had, this guy's a real force for good, I believe. And if he if he gets two hundred thousand followers on Twitter, how do they self organize? Uh, uh, you know, in a country where, where you know, um, again, they they're, they're they're scraping by to get an SMS through. Uh, one more question. Yeah, Andrew. Why don't we figure out a way to raise money and get a couple of those kids over here? That's that's a great idea. You know, yeah. Did you hear guys here? He says, how do we how do we get uh, you know um, some of those those kids over here? Well, there, there's actually we one of the things we're following up on is trying to get some interns at, and each of the companies that meetup's going to get uh, going to try to get uh, a couple interns uh, from these kids. But you know what, what's fascinating is we told them there's going to be a return delegation of uh, Iraqi leaders and, uh, and hopefully sort of a some real aggressive like mid-level uh, you know risk takers that will um, uh, come here. Yeah, and Sanford, last one. Set a goal of? Of $100,000 collected. Once $100,000 is collected, we get three interns. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know what that money is for exactly. Maybe for, for the travel? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, I think the State Department is very supportive of that kind of thing. What's actually, I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about this, but there is an interesting sort of development of, of like, you know, a, 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 like a seed um, uh, competition of sorts. The thing is, what's crazy.